morning my dear students welcome to the english class so dear students uh, before starting our today's class let us quickly revise what we have done in our previous class so dear students in our previous class we have done the lesson number 2 from our english textbook that is the orange butterfly so we have done the reading of the text and also we discussed the new words along with its pictures and actions now today again let us do a recap of all those seven new words along with its pictures now dear students what are the new words were there in the the we have discussed in this chapter so the first new word is lily it is l i l y lily so what is it it is a white color beautiful flower the next word is patterns the spelling is p a t t e r n s patterns so what is it these are the some of the repeated designs of any color now our next word is sets of so what is the sets of sets of mean to start off start off for anything any journey now move on to our next word wise wise it refers to uh that means that we can think about anything good or good or bad here i have taken an example of an owl it is wearing a hat and holding a stick in his hand so it refers to a wise owl the next word is bright so bright you can see i have taken an example of sun because sun is very bright color very strong color now the next word is strong strong means having an energetic body very strong body a muscle body it refers to strong now the last word is stripes s t r i p e s stripes so stripes as you can see in this picture these are the long colored stripes long colored lines uh, these are called as the stripes so dear students i hope that uh, all these seven new words are clear to you now let us move on towards the learning objective of this chapter so what is the learning objective of this chapter it is everyone is beautiful in your own way this line is this line is so beautiful students is not it so dear students we all are the creations of god and we should always be proud of ourselves we should never think we are less than each other that's why it is called that everyone is beautiful in our own ways so now move on towards the explanation of the text i will be explaining the text to you dear students please listen to me carefully and try to understand the text so i hope that you have gone through this chapter twice or thrice at home so from your reading i think it is clear to you who is the main character of this chapter yes the main character of this chapter is jiggy it is an orange colored butterfly so what's what happened jiggy she was moving from one garden to another that is one flower to another then one day while she was uh, uh, flying from one flower to another suddenly she heard that a uh, white lily she was discussing with the red rose what they were discussing they were discussing that the the butterflies that come from the other garden are so beautiful having a beautiful pattern in their body so jiggy heard their conversation So after hearing that Jiggy decides decided to visit that other garden to see those beautiful butterflies. So next morning Jiggy hugged her parents and she flew towards the other garden. She she was flying and flying for hours and hours. Uh on her way she met a wise and flower and asked about the address of the other garden then the wise and flower replied that it is near the big lake so jiggy after flying for hours finally she reached that other garden and yes she saw those beautiful butterflies while she was flying there suddenly many butterflies came around her and flying around her and among them one of the butterflies told her that you are so beautiful butterfly with no patterns at all and you are having such a orange beautiful color so we wish we could also have a body like you 
So after hearing that, Jiggy becomes so happy from inside and Jiggy thought, yes, I am like a orange fruit and I am also strong because I could fly from so long distance. And finally, she understands that everyone is beautiful in their own way. So my dear students, it is a very beautiful chapter and I hope you have understood it. Now, dear students, there are only two questions in this chapter in the section let us discuss. So, I will be sharing the question answers of this chapter after this video. Now, let us move on towards the summary of today's class. So, in today's class, what we have discussed first, we have, dis we have done the recap of the previous class. That means we have done the discussion of the new words. And after that, we have done the explanation of the text. So, my dear students, I hope this chapter is clear to you. So, I request you kindly to please underline all the hard words in this chapter uh, so that it will help you to learn it more properly. So, this much for today. Uh, here I come to the end of today's class. Thank you and have a nice day.